We are back at our Red Brick Redo, and it is time to take you on the completed tour. You've seen the living room, the dining room, and the kitchen. And now, let's hop in and take a look at the family room. The family room was another room that was feeling underfurnished and unwelcoming when we started. You have a dire lack of furniture now. The key is gonna to be to not overclutter it, like to keep it so it feels airy, but to make it so it feels comfortable. It is now a place where the kids love to hang out. And I would say that is probably first and foremost because we have a big, comfy, cozy sectional. We have a soft underfoot, great to get down and play on 100% wool rug. We have two leather covered ottomans where you can just put your feet up and have stress-free kick back and relax because the covering is durable and it's practical. One of my favorite features in this room from the second I saw this room is, look at this fireplace. Did you do something to this um, during the renovation? What we did, this was all brick, yeah, and white paved brick, and okay. that was all taken down and we just parged the outside. Talk about a place you just want to light that fire and you want to get cozy. So this room really has some great features to it. Big doors go out onto a deck beyond. I feel like almost everything we did in this house was about adding a layer of pattern, a layer of texture, a layer of comfort, and a layer of cozy. And that leads to a feeling of calm and friendly and family appropriate, right? That is always the goal, is how can we create spaces that work for everyone who lives here? And the kids who live here love being in family room now, and that means that we achieved our goal. So in order for it to be a good family room, of course, it needs a television. But what do you do if you have a fireplace that is a focal point and it's in the center and it has a high mantle and you really don't want to mess with that perfection? Well, I think you just shimmy to the side. So the fireplace was always going to take center stage and all of the seating needs to be oriented towards that fabulous fireplace. So we decided to just install a very sleek wall hung TV cabinet here, a little media unit. This is one of the best units. It is one of the best, <laughs> sounds like I'm saying one of the best units. This is one of the best units from Ikea and you can choose choose the frame and then you choose the door style you want and there's lots of different selections and we happen to get these fabulous deep ebony doors. You can hang it at whatever height you want. It has ample storage inside and it has a nice long surface on the top. So now the TV sits, you can angle it and adjust it should you wish depending on where you're sitting in the room and it doesn't compete at all with the fireplace. It still lets the fireplace take center stage as the focal point in this room, which is, I think, what it needs to be. And sometimes you just don't want everything fighting for attention. You need to be able to let one be the hero, one piece is the star, and everything else is a supporting player. Wow. Okay, if we talk about, so there's supporting players and then there's breakout stars. And I think the breakout star in this room is the artwork. And you may have also noticed the artwork that is right here over my shoulder. And this is fun. You are gonna wanna write this down. You're gonna wanna pay attention. This is a great site that a friend of mine introduced me to. It's called Unsplash. Google that. Well, wait, watch the end of this video first and then Google that. It's called Unsplash and anybody can submit their artwork and it is free downloads. Did you hear me? Did you hear me say that? Free downloads. And the photographers who share their work on this site are hoping for a shout out. So here's your shout out. I think you're talented. I think you're amazing. And I am so glad I discovered this site. You can try search terms. What are you looking for? Are you looking for nature photography? Are you looking for mountains, flowers? I looked up street scenes to find the pieces that I used in the kitchen. Look at this. Isn't this fun? So these are going in the kitchen. Plus, we also have, there's more. Then we found this print shop called Blitz right close to our office. And they printed these images for us on watercolor paper. And I love smooth watercolor paper because it gives this amazing chalky effect. 
Okay, do you like that? I found fabulous water scenes. I found so many different amazing pieces of photography that I have used throughout this house. And then I chose to frame them full size in ready-made frames that I got from a couple of local shops. We're gonna frame these full frame. And so what that means is we are gonna save on mats because mats, if you've ever had something custom framed, the mats can really add a lot to the price. The wonders of click and collect during a pandemic never cease to amaze me. And that is the solutions we used here. So I want you to think about how if you are on a budget and you are trying to figure out how you can find great work and create that impact in your room, just check this out. I have told so many people about it and they're really excited about it. You can tell I'm really excited about it. And I think this is a fabulous way for amateurs to share their work and hopefully get noticed. You can make a donation. Some of them will suggest that you can buy them a coffee. And if you use their work, hopefully you will share and tell others about it so they can gain notoriety and make a living doing what they love. Isn't that a great idea? Okay, so from the artwork, we used the artwork as the inspiration and we drew some of these beautiful green tones out of the photographs and then brought them in just as little accents in the room in the form of pillows. So this is an all neutral room. We are not afraid of color in this house. The living room has lots of juicy, fabulous color. The dining room is smoky blues and grays. You come into the kitchen and you enter this area of grays and charcoals and graphite and black and cream and then that character right through into the adjacent family room. I always like if the rooms are adjoined, I want them to feel like they speak to one another, that they're cohesive and consistent, and they have flow in the color palette. So in the kitchen, some of our accessories are live plants, and they have those beautiful green tones, same green tones carrying through into the accents and the accessories in the form of pillows on that comfy, cozy sectional sofa. What about if you're working with neutrals? You've probably heard me say this before, that I like to mix warm and cool neutrals together. And that means it's not all gray all the time. It's not all beige all the time. I looked at the rug and this rug, which I designed, has grays and creams and graphite, and it has a bit of warmth in it. So we decided to go with a natural linen fabric, which has a nice warm creamy slub running through it and use that as the window covering because the walls in this room, which didn't get repainted, were also a creamier tone. So what does this do? This makes the room feel warm. It doesn't make it feel icy and cold and off-putting. It makes it feel like exactly the place you want to kick back and put your feet up at the end of a long day. Oh, I almost forgot. You wanna see the powder room? For sure you wanna see the powder room. After our first tour, a number of you commented and said, is there a powder room, Sarah? Yes, there is. The powder room is getting a glamorous makeover. Look at this wallpaper. This powder room is petite. It's just tucked under the stairs and I wanted to do a few quick, easy changes that would make a big difference. So here's what we did. We took out the existing vanity and we found a ready to go vanity from Design Market, which has a slab drawer front on it. And it is in this light gray tone. It came ready to go, perfectly sized and slid right in the spot we had. Next, I got a piece of remnant marble and this is some honed statuario marble and we put it as the countertop and also wrapped it up the back with a nice tall backsplash. Why did we put a tall backsplash you ask? Well to protect our beautiful wallpaper because what little powder room doesn't look amazing with wallpaper? There's no powder room that doesn't look amazing with wallpaper. And I think this is a really fun wallpaper, especially for a house with kids in it, because this feels playful to me. This feels joyful and colorful. And the green in here is a little bit more dialed up than what we see in the kitchen and in the family room, but I think it is perfectly appropriate. And it has a loose kind of hand-drawn feel to it and it just, I think, sets the tone for this room. There used to be one light fixture in this bathroom, and if I recall correctly, I think I've blocked it in my memory, but I think it might have been above. I think it was above a mirror. Oh, there was no mirror. There was no mirror. Where was it? 
where was the light fixture? Who cares where the light fixture was? Because you know, now we've gone with a pair of sconces. So if you have a narrow room, this is a trick that I, I really like to use when you have a narrow vanity, having a sconce on either side can look really terrific. And these are a contemporary sconce with a white painted finish. I think that they just set the tone for the powder room and I think they look fun and whimsical and they are just the ideal finishing touch here. And then we decided to go with brushed brass accents. So brushed brass hardware on the hanging vanity. And what we did, because this is a compact vanity, we set the faucet off to the side. Now this is something you need to know how you are planning on installing your faucet before you order your stone top. But the nice thing is, if you happen to have a situation where you have a shallow depth to work with, Think about just offsetting it up onto the corner and then it'll save you some space in the depth from front to back. Just a little trick you might want to keep in mind. So our faucet here is a single lever in brushed brass and then we reinforce that warm brass tone with this fun mirror that has an uneven sort of organic wavy frame to it. It's reflecting our playful wallpaper and it's giving this bathroom a little bit of color, a little bit of personality. Look at this little piece of art. There's a small piece of art that's hanging on the wall. Always think about where you're hanging your artwork and when and how it's going to be seen. So should the door to the powder room be left open, as you walk past, you will see the wallpaper, you'll see the art hanging on the wallpaper. It creates a lovely little vignette. And overall, this was a teeny tiny decorating makeover that created big change in this little bathroom. So that's it. That's the family room. That's the powder room. You're going to want to subscribe and turn on notifications because you know what's coming up next? All of Upstairs.